What is going on, everybody? My name is Josh, and welcome to the newest roster change video brought to you by No Scope Glasses. Link is in the description, and you can use discount code DISC5P to get 5% off your purchase. And if you do buy a pair of glasses, please let me know via social media or in the comments. All right, guys. So this is my third time making this video, so I'm going to keep it as short and concise as possible um, because I made one yesterday, which was Sunday, f well, Monday for... Uh, you're going to be seeing this on Wednesday, but it was Monday um, I made one before any of the roster changes happened, uh, and I made one earlier today, and then now I have to make another one because we're dropping bombs um, left and right. TK, in my opinion, the third biggest team in the league, league in the community. Um, you got Optic, you got Envy, and then you got TK. In my opinion, that's how it goes. Um, because Chaos Science are 500,000 subscribers, so a lot of those guys are TK fans. So last night, <clears throat> um, they dropped the bomb on us. Theory said he was leaving, and then um, Formal said he was leaving. Um, Sharp is now the captain, and Gunjar, according to Sharp, was offered a lot of spots on different rosters, and I don't blame him because Gunjar is one of the best players in the game, and he didn't take him. He stuck with TK, which is good because if you can keep a core two players, as long as you can keep a core two players, Goon and Sharp, You'll be good. Now, the only problem is they have to play together at PAX. So these roster changes are going to affect Niagara, Anaheim, Gfinity. Those are the three events that they're going to affect right now and any events after that. Um, but at PAX, rock, rosters are lock, lock, locked in. So TK has picked up Methods. Methods left Cursed Youth. So Methods is only 16. Methods is a month older than I am. And... He, which is a problem, he turned 17 in August, I turned 17 in October, and, you know, if there's 18 plus tournaments, that's going to suck, because then TK is going to be screwed. So when Champs comes up next year, if it's still 18 plus, which I think it's going to be, they're going to have to find another fourth, or at least just a sub, you know, apparently, you know, and the problem was, with FaZe, they completely drop methods, you know, they didn't pick up a sub for champs. They completely dropped methods, which I don't think they should have done. That was a solid squad with methods. I don't think they should have done that. But now, these three guys, that is a crazy team. Goon, Sharp, and Methods. Methods is one of the best players that's under 18, in my opinion. Um, and Killa has been dropped from uh, Curse, but that, was, that happened like almost a month ago now. And I think it is... Well, not almost a month ago, but I think that TK should pick up Killa, um, honestly. Um, or Tipsy. Killa or Tipsy. I'll be fine with that. I think that would be a really, really, really solid squad. And, and Tipsy um, was April Fool's, and, and his his Twitter handle is TKipsy right now. <laughs> so, uh, TK Ipsy. So, that's pretty funny. But that's all I really have to say about the roster changes. And Formal just tweeted... Um, that his favorite color has always been green. And I tweeted back, I'm like, you fooling, bruh. <laughs> like, bruh, you fooling. Because it's April Fool's Day, and a lot of people have been saying that they're quitting and, and all this, on all this BS. Um, so he's, like, saying that he's going to go to Optic. Optic is not making a roster change. They shouldn't make a roster change. And this opens up, after champs, you know, a lot of people are going to make roster changes. This is TK's worst placing, so... Um, formal really isn't a big loss for them. You know, he wasn't one of the core guys. He was a great player. You know, he shocked the world that he was so good coming from Halo, but he's not a core player. Theory's a big loss. You know, they've had him ever since the beginning. Um, Neslo was a big loss, but now you got the two guys that have been there since the beginning. Um, Gunjar went to Envy for one event, but, um, that's a core two. You just need to keep a core two. So as long as Optic has Seth and Nade Shot, they're good. It's like that type of deal. Um, but that's about it. Uh, teams that should not make roster changes. Envy shouldn't. Optic obviously shouldn't. Complexity obviously shouldn't. Phase shouldn't, but I, I have a feeling that they might. Um, Rise shouldn't. They place top eight. Um, Xfinity shouldn't. Even though they didn't place top eight, they should not. Should not. Uh, SB should not. Um, people are saying that Formal might go... And play with Saints, but I I doubt it. SB won't make a roster change. 
Um, let me know what you guys think, though. Please leave it in the comments. I really am interested. And if you guys follow this scene, um, man, the, the roster changes are crazy. And uh, right now, everybody's worried about packs. Not completely worried. I mean, um, Niagara's a big event. Gfinity is going to be a huge event. That's always one of the biggest prize pools. And what was the other event I said? Niagara, Gfinity, and Anaheim. That's going to be a big event, too. And rosters are not logged in for um, them. So, it's going to be a crazy month or two. That's going to be crazy. So, like I said, let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you want to leave a like. This is my third time doing this video, so if I could hit 20 likes. If you're still watching, tell everybody in the comments. 20 likes. Um, that would be crazy awesome. Subscribe if you're new, and no scope glasses, link are in the description. Like I said, tell me if you buy one, guys, because it really helps me out, and I want to personally thank you all. That is all I have for you guys today. My name is Josh, and I will see you guys later.